Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we're talking about portable off-grid power and specifically solar panels and charge controllers. Anyone who's been around the channel for a while already knows they use a series of power film solar solar panels. So recently I was asked if I'd like to test a charge controller from BuddyPole and that's the BuddyPole Power Mini. So I've come up here to Lapland to use the power of the Midnight Sun to put the Power Film Solar Panels and the Buddy Pole Power Mini to the test. If you stick with me, I'll tell you all about it. You are listening to the Emergency Broadcast Systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Powering up a QRP station in the field is pretty easy, but keeping it powered up for an extended period of time is quite challenging, as is keeping a QRO station up and running for an extended length of time. We can further complicate the issue of powering our stations in the field when we decide to operate on foot. This is the point where we begin to understand the importance of lightweight portable power, both solar panels, if that's what we're using, as well as our battery storage systems. For this test, I put together a 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery pack using the same headway cells we've used in previous builds on the channel. Now this is essentially the same pack we built last year, the 10 amp hour pack, but instead of 4S1P, we have another set in parallel for 4S2P. Naturally, we can use a pack like this to generate an enormous amount of current, but we can also use a pack like this to provide the watt hours we need to power our solar powered field stations. Now my goal is to run a 100 watt station, a laptop or tablet, and everything that goes along with that station for 24 hours using this pack. Now I already have experience with the Powerfilm solar solar panels, both the folding and the rolling types. But now I'm hoping the Buddy Pole Power Mini will alleviate the wire mess and complexity that goes along with wiring up a small solar generator like this. But let's first talk about the Powerfilm Solar solar panels. I have experience with both the folding and rollable types. The folding panels offer us the maximum amount of portability and power generation in a lightweight package. The rollable panels aren't quite as portable as the folding, but they're completely encapsulated and waterproof. They also come in a variety of different sizes to match our specs and our budgets. I already have quite an extensive list of videos related to the Powerfilm Solar solar panels on the channel. I'll leave a playlist in the description. So regarding the Buddy Pole Power Mini, I know you've seen other charge controllers on the channel and I'm not saying that we shouldn't look at those. However, there is something special about the Buddy Pole Power Mini which is different than any of the charge controllers we've seen on the channel. And that is, it has built-in Anderson PowerPole distribution ports as well as power management. In the amateur radio community, Anderson power poles are kind of the de facto standard in portable power connectivity and interoperability. This is especially true when we're talking about emergency communications and preparedness. So having those Anderson power pole ports already integrated into our solar charge controller makes implementation and deployment of our portable power systems that much more simple. So the Buddy Pole Power Mini also has the ability to be customized for different battery chemistries, lithium iron phosphate, lead acid, and lithium ion, if I remember correctly. In practice, this means we're not going to get locked into a specific set of batteries or a specific charge controller. Our charge controller will adapt to the battery chemistry we'd like to use. This makes the Buddy Pole Power Mini as a charge controller a pretty good long-term investment. Now, in addition to those custom profiles for unique battery chemistries, the Buddy Pole Power Mini also has features to protect itself and your expensive battery from the user. Features like a low voltage alarm 
a high voltage alarm shutting down when there's a low voltage or high voltage state. And finally, overcurrent protection to protect the Buddy Pole Power Mini and your expensive battery pack from overextending themselves beyond their current capabilities. So then the question becomes, why are we talking about this again? I mean, we've seen the power film solar panels in the field on the channel before. We've seen other charge controllers and tested them in the field on the channel before. So why are we still talking about it? We're talking about this because this is the first time I've put together a high-speed load drag kit which can really be used with a battery pack of your choice. A lithium ion battery pack, a lithium iron phosphate battery pack, a lead acid battery pack. This is exactly the same Lego block approach we've talked about on the channel before. So we're taking our chosen solar panel. We take our charge controller which is also power distribution and power management. Then we combine them with a battery pack of our choice which can either be built like the projects on the channel or purchased. Then we combine all of these different modules to make the perfect portable power system for amateur radio emergency communications and preparedness. So this is one variation of the kit I use for emergency portable power and I call it my emergency portable power go kit. As I mentioned previously there are different variations of this kit. I can change out the battery packs, so I can change out the solar panels, and the integrating bit of the kit is the Buddy Pole Power Mini. It's the bridge between all of these different islands. The Power Mini is like a systems integrator. It takes all of these different components and allows them to work together. Kind of like those Lego blocks we were talking about earlier. Now, if you haven't already seen the 576 watt hour solar generator we built on the channel, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Lots of would-be builders found that project far too abstract. But now, thanks to the Buddy Pole Power Mini, we can build a system similar in functionality without having an advanced engineering degree and electronics. Now that kit is definitely more capable, but it's also less portable. Since this charge controller already has interoperability built in, I can choose the right solar panel for the deployment. I can choose the right battery pack for the deployment. It's all plug and play. So I suppose the bottom line is with the power film solar panels and the Buddy Pole Power Mini, I've got a lightweight adaptable system which can be deployed anywhere. And let me know what you think, especially those of you, or I should say those of us who are using Genesan charge controllers. Let me know what you think in the comments. As usual, the only thing I ask is that you be polite. If you're supporting this channel on Patreon, PayPal, as a YouTube member or simply sharing my content, you're absolutely magnificent and I couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please leave me a thumbs up and perhaps a comment to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where people might enjoy it. Rock and roll guys. Thanks for watching.